How to make a vector flag in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how do you take something like this pre-existing vector flag that I found online and turn it into something with a little bit more interest. So first thing I'll do is grab this marquee tool and I'm going to make sure that it's the same width here. Um, it doesn't have to be the same height. And then just go to path, uh, excuse me, object, path, and split into grid. And then come over here and click three, hit preview. It should be perfect just like that. Don't mess with any other settings. Hit OK. I want to delete the left and right and leave the center one. And then the next thing I think I'm going to do is do a warp and probably an arc or an arch. Let's see which one looks best. Um, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. We'll do vertical, and we're going to do minus 10%. I, maybe 15? 15. Let's make it minus 15. Let's do it. I will hit OK. We will then go to Object Expand Appearance because I want to only have uh, two lines here on the edge. I want to delete this edge and delete this edge with my Direct Selection tool. Then Shift-X. I'm going to turn that from Fill to Stroke, so you just see two lines with strokes. That's all you want to see. After you do that, you want to select everything, come over to Pathfinder and click on divide. That's going to give you three sections to work with. And I'm going to grab this section over here first, try to just get everything in it. I'm just going to group them as I go so that I'm, you know, I make sure that I'm adding to my group. So I'll probably get those three hit group, make sure you got them all. Uh, looks like I'm missing these little pieces right here. So shift click to grab those, hit control G to group them, kind of make sure that I got everything. I'm hitting control Y to go into outline mode. Okay, I got all of those. I'm going to shift and click with my mouse to deselect this and select this. That looks great. And then shift and click to deselect and select the new and control G to group those as well. What you should have at the end are three pieces, one, two, and three, and that's what I've got. Um, the next thing I really want to do is um, I want to take these three and sort of wave them a bit. So let's do this warp and do flag, and we're going to go horizontal. And I don't think we want to do quite that much. Let's see. Eh, let's see what I do. Let's try like a... Maybe a seven. I think seven's fine. Just do seven. That looks good to me. Maybe move this over to about here somewhere. Move this one under to about here somewhere. Something like that. Bring all that down in so I can see it a little bit better on my artboard. That already looks really cool, right? It looks like it's kind of waving in the wind, which is neat. Um, next thing we might want to do at this point would be to uh, copy these, paste them to the front with Control F. I'm going to go Object Expand Appearance. That's great. I'm going to isolate the selected group and combine that. You can. Here's something that's kind of weird when you do combining. Sometimes you get these little lines like you see in here. Just sometimes if you click Unite a few times, they'll go away. And when they don't go away, you just go into isolation mode even further. Use your Direct Selection tool to uh, select them and delete them and there you go so now we're good on that one let's try this come back in I'm just double clicking to go into isolation mode here and click unite a few times see that time they all went away it's just hit or miss really I don't know why don't know why same thing here and it looks like I got rid of them all great all right let's select all three we're gonna give them a gradient fill and we're gonna just do black 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 on everything and we're going to go multiply on transparency. Let's come back here to opacity on your gradient and drop that down to zero. Let's flip this so that the black is all the way on this edge. We'll get some nice light in there and we'll get a little bit. I don't want you. We'll get a little bit of opacity later on and then maybe like a lot more towards the end, something along these lines and see how that looks you know sometimes i like to handle i like to spread these out a little bit 
to change the the contour of the gradient a little too. So let's see, maybe on this one we probably don't want 100%. Let's maybe drop it to 80 or 90 and just see how that looks. Next thing we'd have to do is ungroup this and I'm gonna bring both of those to the front and I'm gonna send these two to the back so that we're getting consistent looks across everything. And there you go. That's pretty much all I want to do with that one. I might change this gradient right here. And if you need to, when you're changing gradients, if you go come over here to this gradient tool, it'll show you where the gradient is on your art so that you can do a better job of like spacing out the, the um, color, or the highlight and shadow like I'm doing here. So you may not want it to be the same on all of these. Since there's supposed to be a bit of a natural shadow right in here, I think it makes more sense to to do it this way. Let's just do something like that. Maybe on this one we'll have even less, you know, just a little bit more white showing through on this one because it's going to be foremost. All right. I mean, and that's pretty much all you've got to do to get this cool effect. Now, obviously, if you've got it when you're done, if you rotate it, you're going to screw everything up because uh, it still has that... Um, uh, appearance setting over here um, so like if I select this you'll see the warp is still there under appearance but if I select everything and go object expand appearance um, those are no longer there you can't edit that warp anymore but if you wanted to you could like tilt the flag and it would work just fine so anyway guys that is the tutorial that's all there is to it I just thought I'd do something real fun and simple Anyway, let me know what you thought in the comments down below about that tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next video.